Hey guys, from here, welcome back to New Vanilla Today. It's a Monday, and I'm going to be on my way to Bolton versus West Brom. I'm in London right now. I've come back from school early so I can make this game. Luckily, I don't have any two lessons today, so we're going to take the journey up to the home game. 500 mile round trip, but it's got, it's got to happen today because... There's apparently going to be a, a riot at the ground today. There's fans that are going to be meeting outside the ground before the game with John McGinley. Let's get off to Bolton and let's see what happens. These brews were very much needed, guys. I'm telling you, the journey up from London was so long, but we're finally here. We're in the Royal Oak, around the corner from the Macron Stadium. And today we're playing West Brom at home and there are riots planned. People do not like the owners of this football club, mainly due to the reason that they haven't paid some of the wage players in on time. You know, they've not paid their debts in on time. You know, all this crap that's going on financially, the fans are angry, the results are not coming in. It's January, so everything's a bit bleak. So today we're going to be there and apparently they're going to be meeting at the Nat Oftal statue at 7pm. This is what John McGinley has to say um, about the meeting before the game. It's going to be interesting today. How many people turn up to this? I'm probably Ken Anderson Lee. Yeah. And the fans are all there. 1-1 one, one play, it's high for two from home. We're low, but they go we're at home and we got the fans. It's 2-1 Bolton. 2-1 Bolton as well. Love that. Come on Bolton, we're going to win. Are we actually going to win? No. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Theo, who's this? Right, cool. This is Emma, alright? And I've heard it's your birthday on Friday. Now, I heard you want to start your own channel. So first thing I want to say is definitely create your own channel because it's, it's, it's a really good idea. Now let's give you, say happy birthday. And uh, one more thing, I got you this card. So, yeah, that's, that's from me and Thog Dad, alright? So just hope you have a great day and let's hope Thog wins today. I think we're going to lose 3-1. We're going to lose 3-1. Do you not think we'll get any birthday good luck? And we might win? No? no? Um, it's going to be 
going to be a tough game. Obviously, yeah. definitely third in the league. Yeah. Uh, but I do think Bolton are going to put up a fight. Yeah. Um, I reckon we're going to pull away with a draw today. Ooh, I'll take that. We might get a point. Um, That'd be important, yeah. I'm going to say 2-2. Ooh, it's going to be Bolton 1, West Brom 2. I'm hoping we can beat a big team. You know, the big teams around here with the usual two yeah. to get beat. So I'm hoping for the best. I'm going to go with 1-1. One, one. Here come the tennis balls. Here come the tennis balls. They're being thrown on the pitch by the Bolton fans in the crazy corner. The Anderson out. The posters are out. Tennis balls on the pitch. And finally, the games begin. West Brom versus Bolton. Come on, you whites. Craig Dawson used to play for Bolton as centre back. I think headed that. It's gone wide, but he's definitely an aerial threat. Here comes Noon down the line. The ball's in. Headed! Oh! Third minute in, and we nearly scored. We're the one and only one, Chris. Right, West, West Brom have just completely hoofed it. Gale here. Oh, he is a good player, isn't he? Flipping out. Great touch, good effort. That's a good ball. Headed. Goal. And it stands. Jay Rodriguez makes it 1 0 for West Brom. Way too easy. Oh! Yeah, just an out banners trying to cover the stewards might get there. This is a real race. Oh, no, no, it's come up. <laughs> <laughs> Stewards are trying to grab the van up, but they're trying to bring it up. I don't know what's going to happen here. It's most Ed Ste Oh no, the Stewards have got it. Stewards, yeah. Crazy, Stewards crazy corner, and it's kicking off. Bolton fans. Whoa. on the banner they've got it up to the upper stand and the Bolton fans are going crazy celebrations all out on the ground <laughs> they brought it up they got it to the upper and there it is that's our time let's hope something changes because we're not doing enough attacks right straight on to the second half guys what do you think the final score will be considering you know West Brom are 1-0 up at the moment what, really you think we'll bring it back what do you think yeah we'll bring it back <laughs> you think yeah is he going to come on and score right what do you think I think we might just get a draw. A draw? 1-1. 1-1? 1-1. One, one. One, one. Uh, one, one. Here comes Clayton. He's on his own here. He's done well. Oh, okay. He's earned us a corner. Hard working from Clayton. It's 2-0. So easy. A very good move from West Brom there. A very good move. <laughs> 75th minute. It's 2-0 to West Brom. Joe Pritchard has been brought on. You, I think he's 18 years old. Bolton youth. Looks good. I'm pleased that we're playing a bit more of the youth. And I hope in the cup game against Bristol City on Friday, we play some more youth players like Luke O'Connell and Joe Pritchard. Because they look pretty good. Three minutes. We're getting this. Good effort. Right. 2 0. Depressing game of football. We haven't offered much. Neither of West Brom. I'd say they've been the better team, but. Both teams have been pretty rubbish. It's been a rainy, rainy, blue Monday. Protests were good at the start of the game. They were, we were loud. We made our point. But the game was so rubbish. And it's, yeah. Oh, West well, what are we doing? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you later.